Hey guys, welcome back to the channel this morning. You know, we did this walkthrough of this rental the other day that was really destroyed, all the windows beat out, everything else. If you haven't seen that video before, uh, check the link that'll be in the comments below. I'll try to remember to do that, possibly in the description also. Go check that out before you watch this video if you haven't already, and you'll see what we've gotten done. So, since we've been here, we've had several houses that we've had to work on, but we've put four days into this house four six hour days. We typically spend six hours per day on our rental properties. And we've got two helpers that helped on this project. One is my, my son that you've seen probably on a video or two before that's 10. He loves to come and help clean. Anyway, he helped here as well as one of my full-time helpers did as well. So I kind of want to show y'all real quick what we got done in four six hour days on this absolutely destroyed home. Check it out. Okay guys, you can see we're I've just come in through the front door here. This is the living room you're looking at. If you remember uh, what this all looked like, there was a couch set on fire along this wall. Um, I guess some people don't understand how floor furnaces like that operate. If you put furniture over top of them, <laughs> the bad things happen. Anyway, floor furnace had also some issues. They had for some reason punched a hole through the sight glass material on it. They had messed up a lot of stuff. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the room echo because there's no carpet in this house. This is all hardwood flooring and it has a horrible acoustic value in here compared to the shop where we normally shoot. Okay, well we redid all these walls in Sherwin-Williams North Star. Everything's been cleaned first. Uh, probably two full days were all cleaning pretty well paint the entire interior of the home in one day. That's our final stuff that we have to carry on out of here uh, later on. This room, this front room, if you remember, we had graffiti all up the wall over here, all up, if I can show you good with my fingers. Anyway, graffiti was all up that wall there. Um, lighting was missing in here, uh, just completely trash. This is the room that had the couches and beds and everything in it that were just, you know, Pretty nasty. Okay, now let's step into the other bedroom. This is the one where when I walked in, there was all the guys smoking weed in this room. So anyway, this is it redone. This one is also in North Star. That front bedroom was redone in Repose Gray. So you can see that's the wall there straight ahead of the camera where all of the graffiti was right across there. Um, looks like a coat of Ben primer and then uh, the North Star covered it really, really well repairs all around redoing the floors went ahead in the bathroom and just decided the floor was just too gross so went ahead and put some smart core uh, pro lvp down went ahead and replaced the vanity and the toilet in this room uh, shower all cleaned up there were toothbrushes hanging from the lights everything y'all remember it you saw it if you didn't go check it out so here's that other shot of that other room here. I'll turn around so you can see that bathroom again and we'll head into the kitchen and kind of get an idea of how this turned around. Um, and I had some comments before that people weren't aware that some of this could be actually an insurance claim. So I kind of wanted to let you know what insurance ended up paying for this and what it ended up costing to actually get this done. Um, we replaced, I believe, 12 windows on the exterior. The kitchen, we just did a full clean on, and I've got that drawer. I had to re-glue it up, and it's over in the shop in clamps. So that drawer's coming back. We repaired the broken cabinet doors, uh, all that. And this is the room that had all the curtains or all the sheets hanging. Just a full clean on this room, turned it back around. And this is just a little sunroom porch thing. Um, back there. So went ahead, the faucet, I guess, from them being gone so long and it being the middle of winter, obviously, the faucet had frozen and busted. So replaced the faucet in here. And this floor was redone last time it was open. We actually opened all this up and re-leveled all the joists and everything, rebuilt it, put a beam under this wall that was having issues. But so there's the living room there. Anyway, let's, uh, let me tell you about the insurance parts of this. Okay, so I had some commentary before about this not being normal, that insurance normally doesn't pay for this sort of thing. And, you know, we've been kind of believing that too, but apparently somehow we had a better policy than we thought and uh, went ahead and filed a claim on it anyway since it was not, the damage was largely not done by the tenant and done instead by other people. They were able to call it 
vandalism under the vandalism clause of the contract with the insurance and insurance ended up paying see if you can get a number in your head and drop that number down below in a comment on what you think that damage was probably worth but I'm gonna tell you here in just a second so go ahead and get that number going in your head type it down there in the comments okay insurance for this adjusted it we had a thousand dollar deductible so you'll want to add that to what they paid uh, they ended up issuing us a check for a little over forty seven hundred dollars for this damage so we yeah, add a thousand to that they basically valued at at $5,700. We were actually extremely happy with that. Uh, we spent around $1,200 in material here, I believe, and four days of labor. The helper that I have, I believe, made right around $600 on this job, probably five, $600 labor. And then me, I was minimally involved as much as I could be. So I maybe made $1,000 here on this. I didn't have to do very much of it. So ended up totally all in, maybe around $3,000 plus then our general contracting charges and everything above that. It pretty well, insurance ended up covering it. With the speed that the crew worked at, we managed to pull it off in the amount of time that it would take to actually hit that. We've got, I think, six showings scheduled for here today, and this house will probably be gone this week. But I thought y'all might be interested in a quick little checking it out and what things actually costed to turn that disaster around. It wasn't nearly as bad as you'd think. We did have the windows that were part of the previous uh, a previous job you know a couple of weeks ago because we had to jump on them as an emergency and we did we did all the window replacements in one day uh, 12 window glasses uh, clean up and all that and touch up paint caulking all that stuff on the outside um, so that that ran you know a thousand dollars for a day rate plus um, the glass I think was around four hundred dollars so that's what it ended up, right around $5,000, maybe all in, and insurance pretty well figured the same amount for us, so worked out good. Uh, uh, I've got kind of something exciting coming up to show you guys on the next video I actually shoot in the shop. So keep tuned for that, and we'll check it out together. See y'all on the next one.